ill mit by moonlight. What? I'm just saying, look at the moonlight, it's amazing. We've got a body in the boot. We've got the dead body of someone you've been impersonating and you're enjoying the view. Do you realise what we're about to do? Sorry. Yeah, so am I. I'm sorry I ever met you. I can't. I can't do it. I can't touch him again. I know it's difficult, but you can do this. I'll help you. This isn't GCSE coursework, John. We're disposing of a corpse. Just one last push and then we're there. Then it'll all be over. Now, you stay here. I need to go and find some... Uh, some rocks or stones or bricks or something. He's definitely dead, John. You don't have to hit him round the head to be sure. Something to weigh the body down. We don't want him floating back up to the surface, do we? It won't be long. No, no, you don't. No. Don't you dare no. fall asleep. Come on. Stay awake. I'm sorry. I don't want him going unconscious on me. I do good to have a little sleep. Look at the state of him. I can't get the door open. Oh, don't worry. You're tired. We're all tired. How could he do this? Why were we taken in by him? Wolf in sheep's clothing. It's a bit of an understatement. If he killed your Charlotte, and he killed Joy Fishman. I don't want to think about it. How many more has he killed? And we don't home while we're eating, you remember? So. All right. Been better. Where did you flip out last night then? Royally. No need to exaggerate. And where did you get to? You didn't roll in till come on this morning. Why are you checking up on me? Were you known for a club that, I it? didn't go to a club, so... I oh, but you spent all that money, what you took from Till. I stopped that long ago. How much was it in the end? Baby, where are you going now? Nowhere. I mean, it's gorgeous round Islington. Round the green. Oh, that lovely little cinema. Oh, and the bookshop. You don't read books. No, but I go in there to eye up all the hot guys that work there. I mean, where's best for her to run around and play? The Red Wreck or Highbury Fields? <laughs> Can you go and clean your teeth now, please, Amy? Are we going to London? The big smoke, baby. <laughs> you know, I didn't really like living in London when I was with Robert, but on my own with Amy... Can you stop wittering on for one minute? Hmm? Is that possible? I'm excited, Dad. I'll tell you what, Tracy, do me a favour, will you? Don't dress this idea up as being in Amy's best interest. It isn't. It is. How can it be in her interest to uproot her from everything she knows and everyone she knows? It's simple. I don't want her to have a Manchester accent. <laughs> All right, well, answer me this. <laughs> How are you going to make ends meet in the big smoke? You seem to forget, Dad. I'm a trained florist and I've been offered a job as a trained florist. With those inflated London prices. Yeah, but... And who's going to be looking after Amy while you're arranging your carnations and gypsophilia? I don't know. Pals. Lunatics? Because his whole idea is lunacy. You know, Dad, that actually, that is quite offensive. And the alarm's not on. You're joking? I wish to God I was. I'll kill him. Well, there's your chance. Stay! I want to work with you. Stay calm. Everything's fine. What do you think you're playing at? Sorry? You left the factory door unlocked all night and you never put the alarm on. What have you got to say for yourself? Um, well, I can explain. I told you! Lock the place up! I'm in enough trouble as it is with Carla thinking I'm doing a lousy job. What, you, you were doing it all the time, right? Yeah, and it was late when I finished. And, uh, well, I was knackered. What, you don't think I'm going to pay you for this? Oh, do what you want, Owen. I really don't care. Take your open door and your alarm and your job, for that matter, and stick it where the sun don't shine. All right. Take it you've been at Tina's. Shame. Did you sleep with her? 
Well, it's none of your business. I take that as a yes, then. You really put it about, don't you? Listen, I'm sorry if you thought... Yeah, well, thanks, Graham. Thanks a lot. Last night... It meant nothing. I, I wouldn't say that. We just got carried away, and so, you know, let's draw a line under it and move on. I don't know how many times I have to say it. I am uncomfortable going away for a fortnight. Ten days. Leaving this place in my mother's house. Oh, right, it's not like Sylvia will be here on her own. Anna would be in charge and you like Anna, you trust her. Mother can be very brusque. Right, the timing is perfect. The factory's closed, so I'd be sat here twiddling my thumbs and it's brilliant. Hope you're not backing out, Tonto. You don't mind two going mad in Dorset, do you? The whole fortnight of peace and quiet without you two heifer lumps. Tenders. I'll be hanging out the flags. You see, the trouble is... That griddle is quite temperamental. Oh, your Auntie Jean was like that. Whenever she assembled a flat pack, the whole achedle took cover. <laughs> Sylvia, you just press, hold and release. Hours of fun. Don't patronise me, Hayley. I have cooked food before. I do. Oh, hi. You have coffee? Black Earl Grey, my downfall. <laughs> coffee when you're ready, Roy. What is the magic word? Uh, please. Customers are like Afghans, Haley. They have to be trained. Sit. Um, sorry to get you out on a bank holiday. Got me out of a trip to a DIY shop with he who must be obeyed. <sighs> anyway, it'll all be reflected in your bill. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you look knackered. Yeah, well, I didn't sleep too good. Got a lot on your mind. What? No, no, um, you were snoring away like a baby. I don't snore. Yeah, you do. A bit. So, has she decided when she's going, yeah? Because I think we'll all sleep a bit better once she's out of the way. I don't know, she's hard to pin down. Like a butterfly. Or a scabby old moth. And who knows, Graham? Once she's out of our hair, I might even stop snoring. You best have a word. <laughs> Look, go home and have a kid if you're that knackered. I can't. I mean, I don't, I don't want to go home. All right? <laughs> All right, dudes. Here is the dog. Big night last night. Um, can I join you? Uh, yeah? So, if she does go away, then I've lost Amy forever. OK. Bottom line is this. You're her dad. She's lived with you and Becky while her mum was inside. Tracy's behaviour since coming out of prison has been reprehensible, to say the least. I'm confident that you and Becky would be granted partial, if not full, custody if it went to court. Right. In the meantime, to prevent Tracy from taking Amy away, I'll apply for a prohibited steps order. Nice one. You don't know how to turn off a griddle, do you? Becky, this one needs to see you. Oh, yeah? Uh, Roberta Kite, Children's Services. Right. I best get back. What do you want? No need to worry, just a routine check on Max. Where is he? He's through there. Thanks. Hello, Max. My name's Roberta. Hi. 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 Yeah, okay, okay, all right, just calm down. I'll be back as soon as I can. Ten minutes. Make it quick. Audrey and David are coming in to do a stop check. We said you needed to talk. We'll talk. I can smell him on me. You're brilliant. I appreciate absolutely everything you've done for me. I mean that. I can't go and get a hope like this. You look fine. No, I don't. It's everywhere. You... You won't say anything to Maria, will you? Maria? When you get hope. What exactly might I say to her, eh, John? 
Thanks for looking after her, but I had a major crime to commit last night. I need to have a shower. services yeah i'm pretty soon they're going to be over here to talk to you well, they're nice like that aren't they do you not care not my problem well that's where you're wrong because you're up to your neck in it you sold your child and you lied to social services and if me and becky are going down we're going to be dragging you with us just so you know what do i need to do well i'm going to tell you a little story about how max ended up with me and becky and you're going to listen very carefully because when they do come knocking you're going to back it up. Go on, then. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then I'll begin. All right, OK. Favourite film? Midnight Lay, Doris Day. Oh, that's an odd one. Oh, Mrs Preston. Um, oh, it's got more twists than a curly perm. One floor over the cuckoo's nest. Good cheer. Ooh, medication boy. Right, worst job. Coat check girl and bags Chatterton. I'm not a very big fan of coke. Marcus. Uh, I am finished. They accused me of nicking purses. I finished. Marcus. Pricing up frozen meats in a well-known superstore. End of the day, I used to go for a pint and smell blood on my hands. Vile. Ew, you dirty git. So again, fellas? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Where the hell have you been? Oh, never mind that. Where are they? There's only one of them. She's in there. Why are they here? I don't know. Uh, what did she say? Routine checkup. Right. It's weird, isn't it? I feel sick. I just know it's Steve. You know what? They're gonna take Max away. Oh, don't be soft. But why today? We were left alone for ages. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Look, we're gonna be fine. Okay? Just put a big grin on your grid and let's go in there and be perfect parents. Mm. Okay? Mm. Like <sighs> chest out, big grin. We're marvellous. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's very nice. Hi, Steve. I see you've already met Max. We go to Kite Children's Services. Ah, I've always wanted one of those around your neck. I've got badge envy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. I really appreciate it. Anytime. I won't make a habit of it. Fizz, are you all right? You seem to Yeah, be... I'm fine. Yeah. I'll ring you later. Thanks again. Fizz, I'm all right. Just go home, Maria, please. Great. And what about Kylie? Kylie. Your sister, Max's mum. Yeah. Um, well, she's in, she's out as ever. She's out at the moment. Kylie don't live um... here anymore. Sorry? She moved out. We may as well be honest. Well, she is meant to be here as part of your call. Yeah, no, she got married, she moved out, she wanted a fresh start. I mean, don't worry, she only lives across the road. Oh, I see. And she gets full access, of course. Right. Well, if it's OK with you, I'm going to call it a day here and uh, go in search of Kylie. What number does she live at? Um, number eight. Oh, it's just across the road. Can't miss it, really. It's got a number eight on it, I think. It might be at work, though. Oh, where does she work? We need to get away. Away from here, start afresh. Not this again. But I've been thinking, um, maybe the Highlands of Scotland. It's so vast up there, so open, beautiful. I don't want to go just anywhere. It's got to have fringe benefits. I visited this place once, Letter Findlay. It's, um, it's near Fort William. It's on the banks of a lock. It's a stunning place. I think we'd be okay there. I knew, I knew when I was there that I'd go back one day. Felt 
safe. Felt peace. John, will you just shut up? You said you'd go last week. Yeah, well, I'm not going anywhere, not after what's happened. Come on, how many are there? Eight. Oh, no, nine. Oh. I get it. Tell them we're short. Are we not supposed to have three of these? We're short. I'm looking for Kylie Turner. Outside. Everything all right, Kyla? Yeah, what belong? Three. Social services. Children's services, yes. Have you got no shame? Sorry? Bad none of me at work like that. I could lose my job. Ever think about that? I didn't actually barge. I just... Oh, you didn't actually think. Kylie, I need to talk to you about Max. I don't want to talk about Max. Not here, not now. So when, then? I don't know. Tomorrow morning, your place? I can't wait. Why did you do it? Are you, are you deliberately trying to screw things up? How can you say that? Or mess with my head. Oh, behave yourself, woman. You just told that interfering cow that Kylie doesn't live here anymore. That is the worst thing that you could have done, Steve. You are an idiot. I just don't know why you did it. It was going to come out sooner or later. But this changes everything. Do you... We're screwed. We're totally screwed. I'll I don't believe it. I'll sort it. it. We... Are you the director of children's services now? Right, OK, you? Becky, look, listen to me. Stop panicking. Leave it to me. I've got a plan. A plan? Yeah, I'll tell you later. What? Hey, we should have a slumber party. Should we? Yeah, like in Greece. Lager, Eileen. Oh, go on then. Has, uh, has he not got a home to go to? He's our new best friend. Always. I think I might be a secret guy. <laughs> you fancy bloke? No, just these two, because they're dead nice. Oh, I love you two. Oh, I love Aww. the gays, but I love them. Oh, I think you might have a little cry in a minute. <laughs> I think maybe that Graham needs a cup of coffee. Yeah! I think. Can I stay here the night on this couch? Have you ever oh. with what's the face? No, no, it just it just looks like a really <laughs> big couch. So this is gonna run my arms all over it. Oh. No! What's your favourite film, Ali? Um Lion King. <laughs> Akuna! Matata! <laughs> What do you want, Steve? I'm not in the mood for a fight. I have seen a solicitor and I am seeking custody of Amy and you can't threaten me with social services. Hmm. Watch me. Because you've already been. And they're pretty sure Max will stay with us. Oh. Well, did you mention your little purchase of a four-year-old boy or did you accidentally leave that bit out? Tracy, say what you like. Tell him everything. Shout it from the rooftops if you like, because no one will believe you, because Kylie is backing us up. Fine. Well, the ins and outs of your sordid little home life are very little interest to me, so, um, uh, London, here I come. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yes, sorry, there was one more thing. I'm taking legal steps to prevent you leaving with Amy, so you go and there is nowhere a court won't find you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Tracy, face facts. You have lost. And the sooner you understand that, the better. Laters. I feel like I'm about to explode. I can't believe what we've done. What you made me do. You inherited Joy's money and went to her funeral, not me. Now you've helped me dispose of the body. All my life, I have tried to be a good person. It's not been easy at times. Smile when they're calling you names. Silly, sick bitch. Care home. Just keep smiling. Keep smiling. You are a good person. This, this is bad. And I know why. I wasn't the brightest of kids, but I got one thing bang on. I am not a nice person. That's why bad things happen to me. No, that's not true. Yeah, I've never been more certain of anything, John. I've done a bad thing. I'm bad. So I'm going to have to do what bad people do. What's that? 
kiss goodbye to all my friends around here. Leave Chesney while he's missing and run. Let her, Finley. Fresh start when nobody knows who we are. We'll know. More's a pity. I'm so sorry. It's just words, John. Um, words can't describe how I'm feeling. I didn't think I could do this. Now I know why you were so keen to go last week. Now I know how you feel. I do understand, you know. I'm the only person on this planet that does. You sure about this? We'll go tomorrow. I'm having an abortion today. He's best off where he is. I think you've heard from Chesney and I think you know where he is. How many more, John? You have to choose. I can't. You're making me do things, things that I don't want to do, but you're making me. So, what next for the Stapes? Jenny McAlpine, who plays Fizz, has got an exclusive look at what's coming up in tomorrow's episode on the website at itv.com slash Corrie. And Coronation Street continues every night this week at 9 o'clock. Next tonight, what's next for the eight acts who performed earlier? It's your vote that decides with the live results from Britain's Got Talent 2016.